Mwaniwapo chize chapo ntangwa kugar. When the first sun rose, it found us awake and waiting. Long before they came to the hills, our footsteps shaped the landscape, tamed the eland, the zebras, and the hyenas along with the gems ball. We rode the wind and silenced the hurricane. Look at us, we have been here before. Many people think that uh, Mapungu Bay just mushroomed on its own. It is a, a pinnacle, the apex of development or civilization. Initially, it was called Itolangwari, an eye of God. Every continent has a civilization story. What is Africa's? civilization story, its pre-colonial social history, it's not amplified. Today, the world often views Africa as a place of conflict, poverty, and hardship. When we go back a thousand years, we find a place of peace and harmony right in the heart of Southern Africa. Here at Mapungubwe, we have a shining example of a civilization that flourished for four generations of rulers, reigning over the people and the land in peace. Men and nature seem to have found a balance, and out of this harmony grows a kingdom. For that period, there was no war. There were no invasions that, that destabilized the area. That is why that kind of civilization and creativity and, uh, you know, the government structures uh, that developed to that high degree were able to thrive. At the entrance of the hilltop complex, I again meet up with my guide, Johannes Mukwein. We are joined by a professor of archaeology from the University of Venda. This was the main entrance, usually, from the bottom side. Okay. As you see, this little path, meaning that there was this security. No one was allowed to come uh, vigorously, mm. not having a strong reason mm. to the relatives up on top of the earth. According to some of uh, this uh, archaeological research, those are called kupil. They, some of them are associated with um, rain-making rituals. Most of these could be either associated with um, house construction since the, the area is uh, it's sandy. So they cannot actually, they won't be able to dig okay. into the rock. So they need uh, something that will anchor their, their houses. These structures express a deep understanding of the interdependence between the physical and the spiritual world. How many uh, graves were found? Three of them were much more different from the other 20. Okay. Three of them, one of them was to be buried with the golden rhino, golden bowl, scepter, okay. and the other one with the bangles of gold, okay. glass beads, shell beads. Okay. And the second one, they discovered a golden crocodile. So okay. meaning that some people do believe that it was the king, okay. then the younger brother of the king, okay. and the queen. Because when you become a chief, you are not the chief to, to lead people only. Plants, animals, soil, everything. You take care of the whole shango. The blanket of the territory, it covers your shoulder. <laughs> 